All right, it is 6.39. We're going over to Mike Apple this morning, and uh, we are talking Toys R Us, Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possible bid on the table for Toys R Us Canada. Melanie, good morning. We've got uh, Fairfax Financial uh, looking at uh, uh, reportedly putting out an offer of about $300 million for the operations of Toys R Us Canada. Those are distinct from the U.S operations of the toy retailer which has been under a bankruptcy reorganization effort here for the past several months 82 locations across the country here and uh, toys r us canada interestingly enough you look at the numbers they've actually been a money making operation as opposed to the u.s division which has been beleaguered by billions of dollars of debt that was really the under underpinning one of the main reasons why uh, toys r us was forced into bankruptcy in the first place um, fairfax uh, has this offer on the table according to the globe and uh, other bidders have until Monday to either match it or top it or or what have you so it appears though that there is a future for Toys R Us Canada which would retain the uh, brand name and continue business going forward we'll play the see how that goes on Monday uh, in the United States meantime Toys R Us earlier this week the bankruptcy court overseeing that uh, reorganization rejected a takeover bid from the maker of Bratz Toys MGA Entertainment this weekend, starting tomorrow, in fact, a possible shutdown of rail activity for CP Rail. The company could be hit by a strike by about 3,000 engineers, which would have not just a detrimental effect on the Canadian economy because of all of the goods that CP Rail ships on a daily basis. The, some companies have already been shutting down operations in preparation of a strike. Uh, the commuting uh, operations in the GTA uh, and in Montreal and Vancouver could be affected come Monday morning if, in fact, uh, Metrolinx, for example, has to uh, curtail service on CP-operated lines. If uh, switchers or other uh, technical equipment is offline, then uh, that's going to cause some major commuter headaches come Monday morning. We're coming off a pretty good week on the markets. Bay Street's actually outperformed Wall Street for a change, Mel uh, Melanie, and we've seen uh, as well the TSX uh, on a major uptrend so far this week, led by higher commodity prices. Now I'll send it over to Kevin in the studio.